As vehicle models and fleets electrify, Hylion has prioritized powertrain production for existing trucks to run on. Standing by with us is Thomas Healy, who is the CEO of Hylion, to take us further into the business and the outlook. Great to have you here with us today, Thomas. First and foremost, perhaps, how quick is the process of replacing some of the powertrains or existing trucks with those produced by Hylion? Yeah, so what we've done is really we're going after the new trucks that fleets are buying into their operations. And most fleets will turn over about a quarter to a third of their trucks every single year. So with some of these big fleets, some of the ones we're working with, like the Schneiders, the Warners of the world, who operates thousands and thousands of vehicles, they'll be turning over thousands of trucks every year. And our goal is those new trucks that they're purchasing, the new ones they're adopting into their operations, we want to move them into electric, right? We want to give them the benefits of electrification, but also with our product, coupling that with a thousand miles of range so that they can actually deploy these in their fleet. I wonder on the demand side, to what extent has rising oil prices initiated even more demand for your powertrain? Yeah, so one of the unique things with what we're doing is while it's an electric vehicle, we actually bring the power plant with you and we recharge the batteries off of natural gas and a natural gas generator. Well, the great thing of what's going on right now is while we're seeing diesel prices continue to climb, natural gas has stayed low. We have fleets that are buying natural gas at around a dollar per gallon, whereas diesel, I think we're seeing north of five in some areas of this country. So from that standpoint, when you look at an ROI, a payback of our product, that higher diesel fuel pricing allows us to even see a faster payback on our product. You've been doing ride and drives with prospective clients. How many new customer signups have you been able to see? So, so we actually are faced with the problem of uh, we've got almost too many fleets interested in some ways. I mean, that's never a bad problem to have. But what we did is we actually narrowed it down to what we call our Hyper Truck Innovation Council, which is some of the largest fleets in the U.S. You got the Riders, the Penske's, Werner's, Schneider's, uh, Anheuser-Busch, who have actually teamed up with us and are helping us as we bring this product to market. So they're actually giving us feedback of what they need to see in the vehicle, right? All these fleets are, are faced with electrification. They know electric's happening, but there are some big hurdles, right? There's the big biggest hurdle of where do you recharge these vehicles? So if you look at a normal BEV, that's the biggest problem is how much grid demand these vehicles have, right? How much electricity you need versus with our system, you can not have to uh, deal with that problem because you use natural gas on board the truck, recharges, and we can do that for cheaper and, gl and, cr and uh, cleaner than your average grid electricity, which, uh, which is pretty unique for doing that on board a vehicle. And certainly. So take us a little bit more into that just briefly here, because the significance of the fuel agnostic generator that Hylion is looking to bring to market, what is the differentiating factor there? Yeah, so we see the market breaking into two. You're going to have plug-in vehicles, and then you're going to have range extender vehicles. Plug-in are going to be great for that local delivery short haul, about 100, 200 miles of range. Then we're focused on the long haul. And what we've done is we use an onboard natural gas generator that will charge the batteries as you're going. But as you just mentioned, we've also laid it out where we have a fuel agnostic roadmap. So while we're starting with natural gas today, we also have a roadmap to get into hydrogen fuel cell. I think everyone agrees hydrogen is the euphoria fuel where we want to be. But the problem is there is no infrastructure out there for it today. And hydrogen today is extremely expensive. It's even way higher than those diesel prices that we mentioned earlier. So that's where start with natural gas today and then evolve into hydrogen when the time is right. So all of these things considered in the near term, you're expecting full year 2022 revenue of $2 million to $3 million. We know that the total operating expenses are going to far exceed that, at least for the time being. But for right now, with the targets that you've laid out financially, $2 million to $3 million from hybrid X sales for 2022 revenue, when you think of the number of units that would need to move, what's that ballpark look like? Yeah, so the revenue this year is from our hybrid product. It's one we've had out there. We have millions of miles deployed on it. But really, the focus of the organization is really on the hyper truck ERX, which we're going to be launching controlled fleet trials later this year. We already have fleets lined up to do that. And then as we go into the latter part of 23 is when we'll actually start uh, shipping these units and recognizing revenue on them. Uh, and that's really the, the system that we see as the game changer for this industry. Uh, it's a full electric truck, brings forward all the benefits of electric. And the goal is to scale that into tens of thousands of units over the years ahead as we really ramp that up. And, you know, this industry is huge. 300,000 vehicles produced every single year. Uh, and our goal is to really go be the dominant powertrain 
to bring electrification into the long haul space. All right, Thomas Healy, highly on CEO, joining us here today. We appreciate the time, Thomas. Thanks so much. Okay, guys, let's go to just a quick little summary of the Thomas Healy interview there on Yahoo Finance. So they're going for those new trucks on the ERX where 25 to 33% of fleet trucks every year get turned over and new ones are bought in their company. They're also working with that innovation council members like Snyder, Ryder, and Werner to target their trucking fleets in that innovation council. Diesel prices have soared five plus a gallon in most areas. So that helps highly on in this case is natural gas is $1. Again, guys, natural gas is what is used on the powertrain to charge the batteries, which gets the electric really drivetrain going of the axle. There's huge interest in this ERX powertrain, but they're really targeting that innovation council. They have companies that have thousands of trucks and they buy thousands of trucks new every year. So they're just going to focus mostly on that innovation council team. The plugin is for the short haul. The ERX is for the long haul. Really only the long haul solution right now is that ERX for now and in the foreseeable future. Really, Tesla would be the, the good short haul option. They're going to have two to three million in revenue in 2022, all from that hybrid model. And their ERX is their main focus starting end of 2023 with production. And then they're going to get up and scale from then on and carry on. But that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like down below. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more content like this related to Hylion, consider subscribing down below and turning on that notification bell. And you'll be notified whenever I post a video. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace.